The electoral authorities announced the final tally after a methodical count of more than 6 million ballots from a turnout of 88%. The election has fulfilled its mission to legally elect representatives in a process that is free and open and will strengthen democracy. The 2020 election is a success, which will overcome last year's political crisis. International observers, including the Organization of American States, said the vote was generally free and fair. La gente votó en libertad. People voted freely and the result was clear and overwhelming, granting strong legitimacy to the incoming government, to Bolivian institutions and to the electoral process as a whole. The defeated opposition were quick to accept the results. It's a result we accept, and it's a result we consider that, given the distance between the first and second place candidates, will not change. Some protesters refused to accept the outcome. However, they were few, and it was a stark contrast to last October's elections when the OAS alleged fraud. A right-wing interim government took over, forcing President Evo Morales into exile. He's now in neighbouring Argentina. The facts, the results in the recent elections, confirm once again that there was no fraud and that there was a coup. The convincing victory for Luis Arce, a 57-year-old economist who served as Morales' finance minister, will help heal some of those wounds. He takes office next month when he must assert his own authority and decide how closely he wants to work with his former boss. No Bolivian can be banned from entering the country, but in the government, it's me who has to decide who forms a part of that administration and who does not. Arce has promised to continue working to reduce poverty in one of the region's poorest countries. He's faced with the challenge of uniting a divided country, while battling the COVID-19 pandemic that has hit Bolivia particularly hard. Daniel Schweimler, Al Jazeera.